so the next component that we'll be looking at will be the tabs so what are the tabs so the tabs helps to switch between the multiple different views and the navigations so they helps to switch between the multiple views and navigations on to the current screen and it can be the links on the web page or it can be the bottom navigation on the mobile phones and on clicking that we should navigate to a different view so the tabs is a container of the child tab component so what is this so the tabs component is the container of the children tab component and it holds the value of the child component and it updates the currently active tab on clicking any other tab so this is the relation between the tabs and the tab component if we can see the properties of the tabs so what are the properties two important properties of the tabs are the value and the on change so what is the value so it's the value of the child tab which is currently active and highlighted and about the on change so we call the on change function whenever any different tab is selected and then we change the value of the currently active tab so these are the relation between the value and the on change and now we can see some additional properties also so we have some additional properties also like the indicator color of how the tabs will be indicated like if a tab is highlighted now we can change the indicator color as well we can change some primary we can change to secondary we can change to error or so many colors and then we can have a text color also and we can provide the text color as primary secondary or inherit or any other color so these are about the tabs in the material ui so we can just move on to the react tabs component inside the material ui now to learn about the tabs so now you can see the tabs make it easy to explore and switch between the different views and now you can see we have some basic tabs so they are the basic tabs so we just select one tab and then you can see the item one is selected and then we can just click any other tab then item two is selected and then if we click the item three then this item is selected so now you can see these are the tabs we have a box inside that so i will now zoom it a little bit for you now you can see now we have the box and then we have defined the tab now you can see we have defined the tabs component which is the parent component as we have discussed and then we have given the value and the value is the value of the child element of the child tab so this is the child tab tab and this is a parent tab which is a tabs it contains all of the tabs and it contains every single tab and all of the child tabs starts from the value of the zero so if we give the value as the zero so only this tab will be then highlighted so it works like an array so each element start with the zero index so this is a zero this is one this is a two so these three are their values so if we give the value as the one so this item will be highlighted and if we give the value as the two then this value will be highlighted this tab will be highlighted so if you can see the other tabs also like you can see now we have some experimental tabs we can have more tabs like you can see we have the wrapped labels we have the item 2 and we have so many things with the tabs like you can see now we can have the color tabs item 2 and the item 3 now you can see we have defined the text color so now you can see whenever the text will be there the color is now secondary color and we can have an indicator color as well which is a secondary color like you can see the pink is a secondary color inside that and then we have given the tabs as the values and then you can have some disabled tabs as well if you will just scroll down then you can have some fixed tabs like you can see item 1 item 2 item 3 they can be a center tabs also and there can be so many things so you can just read about it and we can just start implement the tabs so now we can just move on to the visual studio code to start implementing the tabs so now we can just import the tabs from the material ui so it will be a tabs and then we need to import the tab as well so these are the two components and now inside this div now we can have the tabs so for the tabs we can just have the tab component here the tabs and then we can just close these tabs and now for the child tabs we can have the tab and then we can just have the label of this tab and the label is the text we need to define on the tab like it can be a first and then we can just close this tab and then we can just copy that and then we can just have another label another tab and then another tab like this can be a second and this can be a third so if i will now save and if i will now just restart the application once again so now the react tab is now compiled and now we can just move on to the browser and now you can see now we have three tabs onto the browser this is the first tab and this is the second tab and this is a third tab so these are the tabs now we can see the tabs onto the web page so now the next thing that we can do with the tabs so we can just define the indication to the tabs so to define the indication we need to define the value 
so for the active tabs now we need to define the value so if i will now just provide the value as a zero then this tab would be then selected as we have discussed earlier so it starts from the zero index till the every tab so it is the zero this is the one this is a two index and then if i will now just save now you can see this tab will be then highlighted now you can see initially this tab will be then highlighted and if i will now just click on any other tab then no tab will then work because we have given the value as the zero but if i give the value as the one then you can see the second tab would be then highlighted because now the value is now changed to the one and we have given the hard coded value and then if i will give the value as a two then the last tab will be then highlighted which is a third so this is how the tabs work and now to have the functionality that if we click the first then the first tab should be then highlighted and if we click the second then the second should be then highlighted so for that we need to define the own change as we have discussed in the ppt so we can have a own change function for that and then for handling the own change state so we need to handle the state as well so for that we need to import the use state from the react and then in the use state we can just define the value and then we can have a set value and then the initial value will be undefined so we can just save and now we have given the value so now the tabs value should be the value because now we need to handle with the use state and then in the on change function now we can have an event inside this and then we can have a value so the event is given by the javascript and then the material ui provides us a value of the selected tab so we can just set the value of the selected tab according to that and now we can just have a callback and then we can just call the set value function inside that so it will the set value and it will the current value that the material ui has provided us so the event has the event and the material ui has provided us the value so we are setting the new value to the value and then the value will go to the tabs and it will select the tab which we then select and it will just highlight the tab that we can just select so if i will now save i will now move on to the application once again now you can see the initial value is nothing because the initial value is undefined but if i will give the initial value as the zero to that now you can see the zero tab will be then highlighted but we can just change and then we can just have our initial value as the undefined so now if i will now just click on the first now you can see the first tab is then highlighted if i will now click on the second now you can see the second tab is now highlighted and if i will now just click on the third now you can see the third tab is now highlighted and now this is how the tabs work in the material ui and now you can have your own callback function on every tab on click so you can just have a on click function on every tab and then you can have all callback functions and then you can just have more functionalities like you can have an indicator color as we have discussed so indicator color can be the primary for that so by default indicator color is the primary so you can have a secondary as well so you can change to secondary so if i will now save now you can see the indicator color would be then changed to the pink which is secondary and then you can just have a text color as well to change the color of the text when it is highlighted so you can just have a inherit primary or the secondary if you want the color to be inherit from the parent component so you can just use the inherit but i will now move on to the secondary now you can see now you can see the tab would be then highlighted will be the secondary color and now these are all about the tabs in the material ui and then you can just use the tabs for building the navigation bar as well and for that you can just import the app bar as we have discussed the app bar and then inside the app bar you can just import the toolbar as well so they will work as the navigation bar with that so you can just copy that tabs and then you can just paste that inside the toolbar so if i will now save now you can see you will have the navigation bar onto the web page and then you can just change the text color to the inherit and then if i will now save now you will see the text color would be then inherit now you can see everything is working fine and now the indicator color is the secondary so this is all about the tabs and you can build the fully functional navigation bar with the tabs as well and you can just provide the links to the tabs as well on the callback so this is all about the tabs inside the material ui